Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. That's right, Triple, Triple G. G. How you doing, guys? Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Do you still love the sport of boxing, Triple G? Right. I like this sport, you know, because, come on, this right now I have a good deal with the zone, mm-hmm. just, you know, business deal, and I love it. I feel good. But the money's business. good. The money's the good. The money's good. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> You don't think you don't think boxing has become more focused on like politics and making money than the actual sport though? Yeah, sometimes. Right now, you know, just probably just by um, my opinion, just boxing lose just position, you know. Just I wanna bring again, you know, to back like history. Like, you know, I wanna bring boxing position back. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of good fights in the welterweight division though. Oh Did yeah. Did you see the Spence uh, Porter fight this week? I saw not all fight, just couple last couple rounds, you know. Okay. Yeah. Oh, these tough guys, you know, just both looks good. Both champions, you know, just oh, for me this is like fifty fifty fight. Yeah, you don't think yeah. you, you don't think it was a clear cut winner? No, no, just you know, just so close fight for me. Even with the knockdown, was that a true knockdown though, or was it a? Uh, it's it's good punch, you know, just clean punch. It's, it's not knockdown, you know, just it's good punch. Right, lucky punch. No, I can't pronounce your opponent's name. You fighting on the fifth? What's his name? Sergey Derivanchenko. What's your biggest concern about your upcoming fight with him? You know, just I know him long time. He has good experience from amateur. He represents, I remember, like Kazakhstan boxing team and Olympic Ukraine team. He's very good fighter. Mm-hmm. You know, just he had good experience from amateur program. Last couple of fights, he looks good. The same coach like you know Daniel Jacobs, like you know, Curtis Stevens, and like so many people stay with him. So I know this team. This team is so strong. How do you prepare for that? Like every time, you know. Nothing different. Time. Nothing different. Like just a little bit because right now I have new coach Jonathan Banks. He's so healthy, you know. Just he brings so crazy ideas, you know. Just I feel much better right now. What kind of crazy ideas? Yeah, it was... you know he bring he open my eyes for. For different styles, for speed, for like you know, just not variant A, just variant mm-hmm. B, C, D. You know, he he said, "Oh, G, try like that, try like that." It's so good. What made you get a new training coach? What made you move that way? You know, he's young, he's hungry, he's he has good experience. You know, from he's from Detroit. You know, Kronk mm-hmm. Gym, Emmanuel Stewart Gym is for me. This is biggest step. Do you think you've lost some power in your punches? You know, every every age is different. Right now I'm 37, you know, just... And I had experience from last couple of fights. You know, just like 50, again, like 50-50, yes. You know, just... I want to stay smart. And yeah, it's age is age. So you, have, you think you have lost some power? Yeah, a little bit. When did you realize that? You know, maybe the last... Two years, like, because right now I feel it's better because, you know, I work with Jonathan, you know, just I have more speed, more more timing, more distance. I feel more, feel better. And before, just, you know, I, maybe I lost more interesting for boxing, you know, because so many politics come to boxing. Yeah, I, I think I noticed it when you fought Danny Jacobs. I was like, either Danny Jacobs is super tough or, or, or Triple G has lost a little bit of power. Yeah, this is true, you know, just, you know, Daniel, he's a very good fighter. And I remember I just, after knock, knock him down, just, I I need to bring a little bit more power, just, mm-hmm. you know, I, I said, okay, it's okay. My coach, my old coach, Abel Sanchez said, okay, just take your time, just don't worry, you know, just like that. What made you lose interest in boxing? Not so interesting, you know, just so, you know, a lot of more political, you know, just. I remember the last couple of fights in, in Vegas. It's horrible for, for boxing. Not for me. Come on. Just for boxing. You when know? you were in Canelo fought? Yeah. Yeah. You feel like you got robbed both times? Yeah, absolutely. You think you won both fights? You know, I feel, yeah. Just yeah. my point, my, you know, just I feel, you know, every round just, yeah. Like, probably I win just, I feel I win like three rounds, you know, every fight. Mm-hmm. You know, just not like crazy decisions. Like, I don't know, like. Lose like seven rounds. Come on, 
Would you fight Canelo again? Or do you want to fight Canelo? Canelo again? don't want to fight him again, from what I'm seeing. Yeah, this question not for me. No, just people ask him. Yeah, we have a contract for this September, for last September, like September 14, like Mexican and Independence Day. Mm-hmm. He said no. We have contract with the zone. We have a lot of deals. I don't know why. You think he's just afraid to fight you for a third time? I don't think he's afraid. No, he's not afraid. No, he want to stay like more long time, like with my belt. Mm-hmm. You think he wants to fight changes. easier fighters? <laughs> not easy, not this for this level. No, just mm. right now, you know, just I don't, I don't know his strategy, you know, because right now is so bad situation in Golden Golden Boy, you know, just with him, like it's so problems. Mm-hmm. For, for a third, if y'all fought a third time, what would what would you need to do to feel good about the whole trilogy? Like, what would Triple G need to do to feel good about? Speed boxing. That's yeah. it. Just I feel my style. You know, just if I stay the same, I think I win. Would you want to knock him out, or you don't want a decision because y'all had it with a draw, and he won by decision? And yeah, of course, you know, just I want to knock him out. He, mm-hmm. You know, just this a little bit hard because you know he knows me a long time. Yeah, we training together like six years ago. You know, like like probably like three or four training camps stay together. You know, sparring a lot. This level is so tough. You think if you all have fought in your prime, would it have been the same outcome? Absolutely, you no. Know, just I remember my my physical, like okay, like five years ago, it's hundred percent different. Mm-hmm. You know, right now just a little bit different. And I told you, just I had good experience. Who's Triple G's biggest opponent at this point? Wow, probably age. Yeah. Age or father <laughs> age. age, yeah. You know, just so many people. It's good, good, good guys. You know, tough guys. You know, couple champions. You know, in middle division or one sixty eight. Like again, like couple good fighters. It's so interesting right now. So how do you know when to hang it up? Because I mean, if if Father Time is your biggest opponent, you know, you get in the ring with one of these young guys, and they get the best of you. Now people looking at you a little strange. Like you know, your legacy ain't cemented. Yeah, it is interesting, you know. It's, you know, this is boxing, you know. Right now, everybody knows my style. Everybody mm-hmm. work hard for me, you know, just. It's so interesting. This is every time, every fight, you know, big test for me. You know, because I know this guy, he knows my style. He knows everything. And you bring, like, a little bit new, new strategy, new new style, like, you know, like surprise. Mm-hmm. Do you look at Floyd Mayweather and Pacquiao and say, okay, enough's enough, guys. You guys are old enough. Retire. Uh, you know, these guys, you know, like, a little bit different. Yeah. You know, sometimes, you know, boxing is so crazy business, you know. If you have chance, it doesn't matter how how age, you know. If you have a lot of money, it doesn't matter. You know, you feel good, you do it. What do you think about them taking them, the overseas uh, pre-fights, three rounds, a couple million dollars? Do you think it hurts boxing? Easy job. This is not a good job, you know. A show, good show, good business deal, you know, just a couple rounds, a couple minutes, it's a lot of money. Would you do that? Why not? Yeah, <laughs> probably, yeah, it is, you know, <laughs> smart move. Right. You, you said that you think it's counterproductive for fighters to move up in weight to face bigger and stronger opponents. Why do you, why do you think that? You know, right now, just my, I have a contract with Dazon, like, for five fights. Right now, my focus is 160. I want to, you know beat people who stay in 160. If I not, if I don't have more fights with Canelo, just maybe I go in the, yeah, 168. Mm-hmm. Oh, so you would move up? Yeah. Okay. Do you think Canelo should be happy with the way those two fights turned out as a fighter, personally? You think he should be happy? I, I don't know exactly, you know, just... You know, I don't think he bought for him because, you know, he, today he said, his promoter said yes, he said no, you know, just like... Oh, I don't want to touch this, you know, bad situation, you know. It's not for me. Mm-hmm. Well, Triple G's fighting this Friday. Yeah, Triple G is fighting this Friday, October 5th, at Madison Square Garden. Now, what should people expect in this fight? You know, just know, just thank you people who support me, who like boxing, you know, like a real boxing fan. And don't miss my fight, please. You know, I promise I bring good show, big drama show, you know, for this time. You know, this is good opponent, good event, good show. Do you abstain from sex for the week? Yes, absolutely. 
How long? How long did you have to abstain prior to the fight? Couple days. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. But after yeah. the fight, yeah. I'm sure you go in. Yeah. <laughs> how soon? How soon after the fight do you, you know, go have sex? You know, just maybe. I don't know. Just I have a plan with my family. Uh huh. Yeah, maybe we're going to a little bit, like for, I don't know, weekend, like or rest. I need to rest a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And get your legs back. Yeah. If if I win this fight, because you know, just I have a like special opponent, like maybe you know, like a official challenger, like some mm-hmm. something, you know, just I I need to come back to business. Okay. Well, Triple G, ladies and gentlemen, the fight is October 5th this yep. weekend, Madison Square Garden. And we thank you for joining us. Thank you so much, guys. All right, All right. it's Triple G. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Good morning.